Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the Cycling Dane gaming channel and today we are doing one with Jonas Vingo. Obviously I'm Danish myself so I'm a bit biased and today we're going to try and see what if Jonas Vingo went to the 2024 World Championships which is going to be held in Zurich. Jonas Vingo has become a bit of a world sensation since his win, well since his 2021 podium and then going on to win the tour twice but why has he never done the World Championship before? I mean, 2018 was the last time he did the World Championships in the under 23 race won by Mark Kirschi. And then in 2019, when he had his big win at the Tour of Poland, obviously it was in Yorkshire, of course, so that didn't really fit him. And he was still a young rider back then. And 2020 was Imola. He came off his first Vuelta España. Then 2021 was in Flanders. And there obviously didn't really suit him as a rider. Then we come to 2022. And here, I mean, do you want to travel all the way down to Australia? Probably not. And then we come to 2023, which of course was in Glasgow. Definitely not a route suited to Jonas Bingo in the middle of the summer. So yeah, it kind of gives you a bit of a backstory why he didn't do that. So Zurich, Switzerland, he's moved to Switzerland as well. So absolutely perfect for him. And we're going to try and find out whether or not in this virtual world of pro cycling manager, if he could actually win the race. We are going to try and win the race with Denmark as a Dane. What can go wrong? As you can see, it's quite a lumpy course. I mean, the, the climb isn't a big mountainous. It, we're not seeing a uh, called the Tourmalet. We're not seeing, what are we going to say, an Angularoo kind of thing. But yeah, we might as well pick our team and I'll unselect all of them so we can talk through each of them. We want some medium mountain guys. Obviously, you want to spin goals. Skillmose, Andreas Krohn, Jakob Fulsang. I'm a big fan, so we are taking him. Jonas Krego. He's a friend of the channel, but well, not this channel. And charming but look when you look at the stats the form it's not great Miguel Honoré will take him Nicholas E very nice guy again not part of it um we need to think of the different phases here Sankar Arneson will take him because he's on great form and Espian Hilmose when we think of the course we have to pick Mess Pilsen don't we we absolutely do we can't not take not take the former world champion to a world championships despite the course not really fitting. Velkrain, oh, I'd like to take him. Eskrain, Eskrain could be good in the beginning phases. So that's our team. Favorite start we got you, Roglic, why would I match about a ball? Vingo is there, so we're in the top five. So without further ado, we might actually start. Well, we're getting ready now here at the start line. And uh, yeah, you can see Slovenia there at the front, GB as well. And Spain, are they going to be a big threat? I don't think so. Juana Yuzo, which I'm just going to make sure that we don't have like the automatic rolls here. So suddenly uh, we see Vingo attack up the road. We'll put, uh, yeah, should we put Honoré? Yeah, we'll put Honoré to kind of look after Vingo at this moment in time. We'll put uh, Vingo to try and stay in this position. Skillmose is kind of our second attack if we have to, or first first attack to kind of soften things up. Fulsang, I mean, kind of the road captain here. Such, I'm such a big Fulsang fan, so don't hold that against me. And um, I mean, Fulsang himself has a very strong connection with Switzerland. But uh, yeah, we'll just fast forward with this after the break kind of develops and we get into a situation where you can see that Slovenia is already taking up charge with Novak and Finsk. Phoenix, I've never heard of them. Uh, Marawi Kudos up there. Tom Scoinge, friend of the channel. Uh, Nico Dens as well, the German. And a Canadian rider as well. But yeah, you can see we also have the Netherlands trying to control things here. We've got Norway. Um, yeah, what are Colombia going to do here? Not, of course, the golden generation, but we'll just wait and see until the break settles. Actually, it's taking a bit longer, so let's speed it up. And we can see Mari Kudus is kind of in a no man's land and who's gone up the road here. Rubio, uh, Suta and Austria rider, uh, Can another Canadian rider. Obviously Canada is one of the small nations here. Peter Gan is here. Is he going to be here at the uh, actual world championships when we come to Switzerland? Or is he just going to be fully in uh, mountain bike phase? He's out the back here. Archie Ryan there as well. I guess they've had a crash. And oh, crash there. We just saw a crash. One of the train riders, uh, Molubran, Molubran there. We got Dobrak Zabir in there as well. Bagnolti, Tespasion, but we don't really care about the, either any of them. 
We've got Honoré just making sure to keep the pace, well, protect Jonas Wingo, camping out up here. The break's been brought back. Healy's attacking. Hmm, okay, this is getting a bit interesting. Who are they actually, who were they afraid of? Slovenia there, I don't really know. Maybe it was Rubio, uh, Sven Erik Buström, uh, Derek G, the biggest G for Canada, right, in this field, you would say. Ben Healy will, it, this course is quite good for him, so I, I don't really understand why he's getting in the break. Novak just settling down. So they're happy with this break. Finally, we've got a break up the road. Who's on water duties for us as well? Bottle duties or whatever you say. Uh, Belgium, who, uh, do they have Rimko and... Yeah, they've got Remco here, so he's looking to win another World Championship title. Has quite a good ratio when you think about it. And, I mean, Slovenia, they, they are the strongest team, I think, with Bogaccia and Roglic here. Just incredible generation from them. But we are in our own golden generation with Denmark, so we'll make sure that we're going to make use of that first climb coming up, or second climb coming up, and then we got that circuit very shortly as well but yeah it's not really too troubling what we're seeing here in the moment the phase the first phase of the race is kind of developing or the second phase will if you will the breaks up the road seven minutes advantage now and we have a crash here from Felix Groschadner okay we missed it uh it's all back together here from them and who is gonna win this is the big question. Obviously, I think it's gonna be Jonas Bingo. That's what we're gonna try and do. His first ever senior world championships in Zurich. The reason why he moved to Zurich, or well, Switzerland, probably not. It was probably more to do with the way uh, the tax system is in Denmark, if I'm honest. But uh, yeah, we can see them pushing on here. Who's gonna be the big cheese to make the first move here? The big six, we talk about them so much here. Campanats working, Daddy Man Popo as well. We got Dingham, we got uh, oh, uh, Mogado, the young, the super young Portuguese rider. We got Campanats who said that as well. Michael Matthews has a good success rate at the World Championships. Who's Australia riding for? Is that a stupid question by me? Hindley, probably not. I mean, uh, Caleb, um, maybe not Caleb Ewan. They've got many of the mountain climbers here, Schultz as well. Jack Haig, I, I don't see any of them really challenging the podium. Michael Matthews, if he could get over the final climb, very good in the Ardennes, but these climbs are a bit longer than the Ardennes, so maybe not, um, of course, being on the podium when we had it back in Limburg. Um, but yeah, oh, a bit of argy-bargy going on at the front. Hinn Hinley not thinking that the rest of them were working here. We're not doing any work, to be fair, either, so contributing nothing to this at this moment in time so we'll see i mean we could deploy some carnes and, and mess pillars and or uh casper Eskrain, but we're not gonna do that we'll put all the work on the other teams we're still not i mean denmark are quite a big unit in terms of racing and the world championships we had Miguel Velgrain not long ago take a ooh, a brand me just trying to talk about something else but Lubran now. I mean, the air trains have got Binny. Do they have Binny? They must have Binny. They can't not. Yeah, Binny is up there. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting this nonetheless. I don't think... Um, is Binny going to replicate what he did in Flanders at, in the under-23 race? Get on the podium? Hmm, that sounds like another video, doesn't it? But, uh, yeah, Binny go here. We still got him up there. Not really in trouble. 173 kilometers to go. Let's just speed it up. They've still got a lead of 5 minutes and 30 seconds, so it's not really too troubling, if we're honest. I mean, we're, we're not in doubt that the break are going to come back. Stefan Kuhn, one of the home riders, crashes, unfortunately. And, yeah, we're just seeing the kilometers plot down here. The circuit's brilliant, like, going through uh, through uh, Zurich, and we can see Nelson Oliveira. Peter Scan falls again. I mean, Peter Scan. I think it's just time to give up at this point uh, it's not really your day crashing two times in a uh, world championships so prolific a uh, rider himself obviously we know the three victories but as we just see the kilometer go under the 140 kilometers to go don't worry we'll stop the speeding up when it gets to oh oh big crash here tadu gacha match of Annapol and wild bernard oh that is a big blow for all of them i mean 
they're all back in the bunch as we saw but that is a big moment and I mean if I was a bit naughty I would put San Kao Anderson on the front so I will do that they would do the same to us probably uh, so we'll just increase the pace here just just to be a bit annoying we'll just make sure he's relaying and not just doing efforts and uh, yeah bit of a unfair <laughs> move here by us I think but we, we need to deploy our riders we can't just have San Kao Anderson spend his whole day here in the not doing anything so I mean it'll be a bit cheeky but they were back in the bunch but we know now they might be a bit weaker they might be struggling a bit and uh, any Tadogatra fans are not gonna like that move another fall what, guys what is going on why are all these riders falling there's it's not we're not going across the uh, Pyro Bay course or anything but uh, yeah 126 kilometers still to go here Oh, we're going to see any riders really just lose out in this first few moments. We're going to get it to under 100 kilometers to go before I just stop with the fast forward here. And you can see Sir Karnas and absolutely just drilling it. Darren Rafferty crashing. I mean, guys, what is happening here? You can see some of the riders that crashed early on. Then uh, one of the riders who was in the break early on as well. I don't think we're going to have um, too much of a... I was going to say, I'm going to have too many crashes happening again, but who's to predict this? Darren Rafferty, the Irish team, have certainly not had a good day, but they still do have Ben Healy up the road. So, I mean, some something to draw out of it, but uh, yeah, I'll make sure. We'll go under 90 and then I'll I'll let the, the, the race unfold in real time. It looks like Jonas Wingo is struggling to keep the pace here. So um, just increase this effort here, but... Yeah, I think we might see St. Carnison struggling here, so he's done. I should have given him a gel before. Uh, Mess Pillerson, we can kind of try and use him up before he's kind of dropped as well because of the nature of the climbs. Obviously, fourth place in Glasgow, but and uh, 2019 won in uh, Yorkshire, so a good record in the UK, but now we are in Zurich. Not really a place he's won, I think. He hasn't won a stage in the Tour de Suisse or Tour de Rumdi, if I can recall right. But uh, yeah, we'll make sure that he's involved in the relaying. And all the big teams are really trying to chase it down. they got two minutes and 43 seconds. Riders being spat out the back now. Is there any big name? Um, Maro Schmidt, the home fay. Well, one of the home riders. Uh, a rider crashed there. Christoph Strong. Strong, you would have thought. Could have been in for a strong performance. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bernal's, Bernal's out the back. That's not really a big surprise. Uh, I think Benny is struggling. No Mulubran. Uh I mean, I think Benny's actually up there. So, But it was just a bit of a gap there going on. Uh, Pillerson, is he still out in front? We saw Kyle Anderson. Let's try and get him up to the front. Put him on. Let's put him on 90, see what he can do. Full sign, what's he doing? Come on, full sign, stay, stay with it. We need you up there. We need you in support. Um, yeah, at the front here, who's putting the pace on? It is Pillerson. Let's just make sure he keeps on with that pace that we'll put. Give him a gel. We've got um, Jan Tratnik up there as well, and Dan Van Poppel. Wild Bernard, is Wild Bernard working for Remco here? Maybe, but... We need to make sure that no split forms as well. Where is Vingo? Vingo's struggling a bit, I think, to keep on. Where's Skilmore? He's kind of a second line of attack. He's struggling a bit as well. Now I'm starting to think we should have had Honoré as a second rider. But uh, yeah, right now it is Pilsen putting it on. And let's just make sure that... Oh, speed it up here. We can see the break up the road. Spain are going from some sunlight attacks here with Mass. Gegenhardt, Roglic. Oh, that is the danger. Roglic is here, Mark, here she is obviously the big card for the Swiss team, but Pilsen making sure he just, yeah, keeps it on control. Uh, Kespa Eskain struggling to hold the pace here, Fultzheim struggling to hold the pace. I mean, Eskain, I was hoping that we were going to keep him for at least another round, but uh, you can see that the pace is really being put on right now. Fultzheim struggling at the back, it was 2019, he could be one of the favourites, but Alas, it's the 2024 edition here. Mingo, I, I'm, I'm a bit worried here. He's struggling a bit. He's a quite bit far down in the group now. Can we just move him up? Move him up here. Uh, yeah, follow the wheel out of Gacha. That's probably a good idea. That's the rider you want to follow. Uh, make sure that he doesn't do anything 
too sinister in terms of getting up the road, but 49 seconds, the break is within touching distance here. Kung, who crashed earlier, is trying to do something yet. Ethan hates it. Oh, he's dangerous. Uh, Kung, Dylan turns. I mean, the Belgian squad have an absolutely insane plethora of talent here, but Philson is the only guy we really got to keep control right now. Let's put full time on the front. I think he would be quite good to just use him up as well, so he's not a waste uh, in terms of just being a passenger and not doing anything. But uh, yeah, Mess Pillarson struggling. He's the energy is absolutely being depleted every second. Yeah, trying to come on Slovenia, do something. Maybe they they think that we we haven't been doing enough early, in the early parts. Andreas Korn, I mean, we can try and put him up the road as well. A bit of a split happening here in the descent. Ooh, Skelmos is in the wrong side of that split. That split being forced by Simon Clark, I think, on the descent. And uh, Mas Pilterson there. We're very close to the to the breakaway here. So yeah, 100, well, 57.5 kilometers to go here. And we're within the last phase of the race here. The next, well, the next lap could be crucial. That might be where we see some of the big guns just eke out an advantage here. s -Kain exactly when we need it. s -Kain in this part of the race. He's going to be able to drag those riders back. Such a big engine. Former winner of Parry, uh, not Parry, of the Tour of Flanders. Now we have that situation. We need bottles as well. Oh, Bingo is up. Where is Bingo? Yeah, he's there. He's there. Good, good. It's fine. s -Kain putting on the pressure at the front. I mean, do we really want to waste that screen? Uh, Skillmose, what's he doing here? He's still an autopilot, so uh, Pilsen, we can just let him do a bit of work while we wait for who's carrying bottles? Uh, Jakob Hultang and Andreas Korn. Ooh, but uh, Betiol attacking up the road there. Such a Betiol move as well. Uh, Skillmose is going with that attack, so that was courtesy of being on autopilot. Do you really think? Betio, he probably is a bit dangerous, but I'm worried that that move. Yeah, Roglic, Roglic is gone. Roglic is gone. That is dangerous. Now it is danger. That is a danger move. Okay, get up, get to the front here. SK, now you need to pull this back. You need to pull this back. Uh, Corn coming in around, just making sure to deliver some nutrients for them. But uh, yeah, Roglic, that was a big danger. Um, but not, they're not really capitalizing on this. Betio has been brought back, but is Roglic going to make a move for it? Another fall here. Who is that? One of the Hungarian riders. I mean, that's the second time he's fallen. Oh, Macho Van der Poel is moving. Macho Van der Poel is attacking. Macho Van der Poel has gone. Okay, that's it. That's it. We need to stop. Stop, stop, stop. I need some time. Breathe, breathe. Macho Van der Poel has just attacked. What on earth do we do? I think we'll get on a way to pull this back. And then a Vingo, can he... Follow, yes, he can follow, and that's the move we're gonna do. Honore is the man we're gonna get to kind of just pull this back. Just, yeah, he's been such a good rider, Miguel Honore, for us so far in the race. Uh, Skilmos is struggling here, so that's a bigger, bigger of a toll. He shouldn't have followed that move, if I'm honest, but I mean, the computer thought that that was the right move. And yeah, Slovenia help are really the ones benefiting on this Wat Van Aan and Macho Van Aan up the road and Honore has done a great job to bring this back and we're all back at the front here so that was a good policing there by Honore he needs to put the pressure on because we we could get rolled by one of the other riders here so just sustain that effort here and Korn is still in this bunch so let's just make sure he takes up gel we've got any other riders in this group the group's kind of big still uh, I mean, it's not that big. Oh, who's this? Machavanapol is going on the attack again. And Honore, just keep on the pressure here. Keep on the pressure. Roglic looking a bit lively as well. But Honore is slowly dragging back the Dutchman. And I mean, I, this isn't really where I want to attack with with uh, Jonas Vingo. We want to keep it all together here. And we want to react to the Slovenians. Or maybe, pray, maybe attack them before. Because I mean, look at... Um, Look at Tarvgacha. He has a better sprint. Almeida trying to attack as well. It's all a bit argy-bargy now. Tarvgacha attacking on the downhill. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Tarvgacha and Wild Minot, uh, not Wild Minot, and uh, 
Um, <laughs> wonderful going up the front. That would not be a great scenario, but just trying to mark the moves here. Follow, follow, follow. This is not going to be good for Jonas Wingol. Needs to get in the right moves here. Come on, Wingol. You're you're not making the split right now, so we need to make sure Ghana is up here as well. But Wingol, he's in the great position right now. Uh, where is we need to get on Tadabgacha's wheel, I think. Tadabgacha, but we risk we could mark each other out as well. Honore is just driving very sluggishly. The pace. But, oh, we have got uh, Skilmose here as well. We might as well get him to the front. Come on, Skilmose. Just up the pace a bit. And get on Skilmose's wheel. Get on Skilmose's wheel. That is probably the best place to be. Pogaccia is the big danger. Um, I mean, there's a lot of dangers here. 23-man 23, 23 group here still. Do we attack first? This is always what I get wrong. I always... Club rides, attack first, and then you realize you run out of juice too fast too early but i think we're in a good position here on a just get in there yeah oh here we go here we go follow that wheel follow 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 come on follow follow bingo you, you need to go you need to go you need to go this is this is the move you need to be in oh this is not good this is not good come on bingo this is the move you want to be in we're behind we lost our two riders Come on, Bingo, you're dragging others back into contention here. Stay on. Oh, this is what we were fearing at the double team by Slovenia. This is not good. Come on, come on, Bingo. You need to go here. You need to go. Take that gel. Take it. Come on, you need to go. Roglic, I think they're, they're just too strong for us. Roglic is up there. Um, who could we follow? Just maintain this position for now, Bingo, if you can. This is our oh, Benut. Are we gonna get in Benut? Oh, Macho Manipal's up there. This is not good. Come on, just stay in this group. St We're not gonna win the sprint, so what am I saying? Mingo, the race is over because we haven't been able to get rid of all these people. What well, not? Oh my goodness, that is a great attack. That is a great attack there. Get on Roglic's wheel. That is the wheel to be on right now. Uh, Macho Manipal, all of them, they're all going for it right now. We are losing energy as well. Bingo is not a one-day race as we know. Uh, yeah, this is not good. Tail Gegenhardt. I mean, uh, we're, we're being swamped here. We're losing energy. The Belgians are going for 1-2. Oh my goodness, no. No, 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 no. This is bad, bad timing. Um, this is not good. Not good for us. Stay on much of Anpol's wheel. That's maybe a good wheel to be on. I think Tadbagacha is just sitting cool there. He's going to roll all of us. If, uh, yeah. What is going to happen here? Come on, Mingo. Come on, you can do it. But we've got... Ah, oh, here we go. There. We're staying on Macho Vanderpool's wheel. We're committing to his wheel. Roglic, Wabinar. I mean, Macho Vanderpool, you need to go or your rival's going to win here. You're not true. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, it is the right wheel. We haven't got... Uh, like literally is bingo gonna out sprint match one ball well, but no, i don't think so so i think a top 10 is probably on the cards potentially for us <laughs> at best it seems jack henley we should be able to out sprint him guys nobody you're just letting the medals go up the road here nobody wants to work i mean we're not gonna help match of get to the line uh yeah so of course we're not going to do that. But yeah, let's just see. We're getting inside the interesting part now. And uh, whose wheel are we going to get on? Probably. I think Macho Manipal's wheel is a good one. Tadbogacha's as well. Uh, how much sprint? I mean, we'll see how it unfolds here. But yeah, it's tense at the back, tense at the front. And who's got... I think Wild Bernard's got this, to be honest. I think that is the crazy moment. This is the ideal scenario for, for Wild Bernard. Roglic, yes, you can take him. Almeida, he can take him. So right now, if Wild Bernard... And he's wearing number eight, which is lucky in China. So if he doesn't win this, he's never winning it. Oh, he opens the sprint. Uh, let's just make sure we're keeping tabs on where we are in this group. Is everyone on our wheel? Like... Two Belgians there. Oh, Alphalete. 
Oof. Crash from Malo Felipe. Oof. Oh. That was funny. And... What? Wild Red Art, what on earth? Uh, and we finished outside the top 10. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I know we didn't win the race and the sad times, cry, cry, cry. But uh, I, realistically, when we were on the climb and we couldn't get rid of the rest of them, no energy left. Yeah, maybe Skillmore's at Honivea was probably a better chance, but how on earth did Wild Renard mess this up? That is crazy. He was alone with Roglic, Almeida. 10 out of 10 times you should have won that, but, but we'll go to the podium and uh, Primoz Roglic wins. Oh, Pitcock was in 10th place. Uh, Thies Benoit, Belgium, uh, a 279. They probably don't care too much about that. And uh, I think they win the best team. Yeah, nobody cares about that prize. But yeah, anyways, that is basically it for this video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Jonas Wiggar not winning the World Championships. Boo sad times Denmark. 14th was his position as well. So uh, yeah, with that, make sure to hit the like button. Let's try and get to 1,000 subscribers here to the channel. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to, here to the channel on the second game gaming. Let's try and get to 1,000. And of course, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.